Okay, guys, I'm here for episode 11 of Smacking the Roster Down. My retrospective of the SmackDown vs. the SmackDown video game franchise, which is now the SmackDown vs. Raw series. Predominantly a roster retrospective, but there are there will be some review elements in it. Uh, the roster, I think, is the best way to retrospective this series because its gameplay engine really has not changed much in 17 years. So, roster is the best way to retrospective it. So, for SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, uh, 2010, uh, who made the roster? Well, the game was released on October the 20th, 2009 for the PS2, PS3, PSP, Wii, DS, and the 360. Now, like last like last time, I'm not going to count the DLC roster until we get to WWE 12. Because not everyone playing this game would have had it on PS3, more than likely. Some probably had it on the PS2, because at that time the PS2 was still really, really, really solidly selling. So, and anyway, there's only one DLC character for this game anyway, and it was Stone Cold Steve Austin, but not everyone had access to it. So, he's not going to be included in this roster. So, the roster for SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, we had Batista, Beth Phoenix, Big Show, Cowboy Bob Orton making his only appearance not only in the series, but I believe in a WWE video game. Brian Kendrick making his final appearance in the series until WWE 2K18. Brie Bella making her debut. Carlito in what would be his final game in the series. Chavo Guerrero, Christian, CM Punk, Cody Rhodes, Dolph Ziggler making his debut in the series. The American Dream, Dusty Rhodes making his first appearance in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007. Edge, Evan Bourne making his proper debut in the series, i.e. on disc for everyone to have. So he'll be counted as a new to the series for this. Eve Torres making her debut in the series. Ezekiel Jackson making his series debut. Festus, Finley, the great uh, Gail Kim making her debut in the series. Gold Dust, Green, yeah, Green, you know, the CAW model. Yeah, they made him a playable character in this game. And that still wasn't the weirdest character we've gotten in a SmackDown game either. Uh, the Great Kali. Jack Swagger making his uh, series debut. He would become a mainstay all the way for two, through WWE 2K17. JBL. Jeff Hardy making his final appearance in the WWE video game until WWE 2K18 as DLC. Jesse. And what would be his final appearance? John Cena, John Morrison, JTG, Kane, Kelly Kelly, Kofi Kingston, Maria, Matt Hardy, Mark Henry, Maurice making her series debut, Melina, Michelle McCool, Mickey James, Mike Knox, the million dollar who is making his series debut, the million dollar man Ted DiBiase. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. McMahon, MVP, Natalia, making her series debut. She's been a mainstay since this game. Nikki Bella, who is making her series debut, who made her series debut here. Primo, making his debut in the series. Archdrew, who made his debut in the series. Randy Orton, Red, the other old CAW model. Yeah, they were both made playable characters in this game, and don't ask me why they did that. I mean, people complain about Legends taking up characters a lot. Why about characters who aren't actually real characters taking up actual spots in a video game? Like Green, Red, Mask Man, Tony, and even someone we'll get to in the next game. Santino Morella, Shad, Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, the Mil Ted DiBiase, this is the one from Legacy, making his proper series debut. The Miz, The Undertaker, Tommy Dreamer, Triple H, Trish Stratus, Umaga, Vladimir Kozlov, making his series debut, and William Regal. 
That is the roster for SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. Minus green and red, it's a pretty decent enough roster. Uh, it was up to date for the time. You know, there wasn't a lot of people missing in it. Uh, the ECW brand was on its last legs, but it was still represented here, but it was on its last legs. Uh, you know, and not a lot changed since 2009, really. Uh, you know, Road WrestleMania was back, and it had six scenarios, including the likes of Randy Orton, Mickey James, uh, a creative superstar, <laughs> uh, Edge, and there was a co-op one with uh, John Cena and Triple H. So, yeah, it had a wide variety of uh, scenarios. Uh, the career mode from 2009 was back, and it wasn't updated much. However, it wasn't the only way to get uh, attributes and abilities for your CAWs like it was in 2009, so that part did change. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, some people made their only video game appearance for WWE in this series, like Bob Orton. He's the only one on the roster who was made his only appearance in this game. So, because other people made more appearances than that. Uh, like I said, Steve Austin was DLC for this, but he, but... This is looking at the main shift with the game rosters, is what this retrospective does. So, until WWE 12, when that wasn't for the PS2, that's when I'll look at and include the DLC as part of the actual roster. Uh, other than that, and again, there wasn't even much DLC for this game anyway. As I said, it was only Steve Austin. So, now SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, which is the next video will be the final one where I don't talk about the DLC for it and just wait till their proper debut in a series, which is when everyone had access to them. Uh, so that'll hopefully be up tomorrow. If not, uh, I'll get it up Wednesday. Uh, so, because I'm busy Tuesday, so I'll have smacking the roster down. We'll look at SmackDown vs. 2011. I'll, ho I'll try to have it up tomorrow night. Uh, not going to make a guarantee of it, but, uh, if you're interested in it, I will, when it gets uploaded, it'll be on my Twitter handle, which will be in the description of this video as well. So, it, this will be in the Spanking Ross Down playlist. If you like the video, like button down there, subscribe button down there, and thank you for watching. Bye.